up guys welcome back to the channel first little POV video on the GoPro it's gonna be a good day today I think pretty early in the morning for me 9 in it 9 a.m. but uh, today's video I'm gonna be going over kind of the uh, before like the kind of roadmap for the project of wrapping this truck now I went over kind of a brief little like thing when I unveiled the wrap about a week or two ago and uh, I, I wanted to make a full roadmap video because um, I didn't really go over much of what was needing to be done. So that's what today's video is gonna be about, is just talking about what exactly uh, is in store, what the process is gonna be like, and like a time frame for how the videos will be released. So first off, we gotta get started with debadging. Now I was planning on trying to get that done this week, but I realized I didn't have the right materials to do that. So unfortunately, uh, I was not able to do that like I wanted to um, for this video. I wanted this to be the debadging video, but unfortunately I uh, just didn't have the right tools and stuff to get it done. So we left them alone and uh, I'll eventually manage to get that done at a later date, uh, probably right before we get started on the same, probably on the same day we do the actual like body work and stuff like that. So debadging is kind of the first step. We have to get all the main badges off get the uh, sport track badge on the back off, the four O's on the side, the Explorer Sport front badge off, uh, clean up all the residue and all that stuff so it doesn't like bleed through whenever we actually do the wrap. And then we can get started on the next big thing, which is of course the bodywork side of things, the Bondo. Um, there's not too much to Bondo. I mean, we're gonna be putting the roof wrap back on, so that's something I don't actually have to worry about, is uh, bonding over, bonding over those holes on the roof of the truck. Uh, instead, we will just be putting the rack back on after the fact, once the wrap is actually done, and then that'll be that for that. But as far as everything else though, I mean, there's still uh, a scrape on the front bumper, a really bad like crack in the middle of the bumper that uh, it's more of like a groove than anything. Um, so that's gonna be one thing to take care of. And uh, just a couple of little things, which I'll get into in the moment once I get through this light. All right. So, like I said, with the Bondo side of things, there's not really too much to do. Um, we got the scrape on the front bumper, the chip in the, the big light groove in the front, as well as the uh, tailgate, which will be probably one of the hardest parts of the whole thing, as uh, we have to like drill that back out and pull it out and then bond over that. So, it's not necessarily going to be the easiest process, but I don't think it'll be terribly difficult either. So. I'm not really too worried about the Bondo side of things. Uh, my dad's gonna help me out a lot with that. My dad is very experienced with Bondo. You know, he's worked on quite a few show cars back in the 90s. Um, you know, building cars for Nopi and stuff like that. So I don't expect that the Bondo side of things will be terribly difficult other than, you know, actually spending the time and making sure it's perfect. Uh, and then once the Bondo work is done, it'll be off to Michael's to get the wrap done. Um, we're gonna try to work a couple panels at a time, see how the time frame's looking. Um, we're hoping we can get it done in a weekend, but I wouldn't hold my breath too much on that. Um, it'll probably take you know a couple days. Might have to drive around for a minute during the week with the truck kind of still partially blue, which I'm not terribly worried about. Um, that's just kind of gotta be. It's just gotta be how things roll, I guess, for now. Um, so no big deal on that front either. Um, if that's the way I have to do it for a minute, I just won't be able to do videos with this thing for a minute while uh, that is going on um, so that's kind of like a time frame of the wrap itself videos will probably be released you know shortly after on the schedule so if I film them during the middle of the week they'll probably be a middle or late week video um, if I film them on weekends it will be very early in the week it really just depends on how the timing goes and the work days go uh, because if we get it all done in one weekend it'll be a series of videos including the reveal itself which will be its own like video separately it probably won't even have any commentary for me it'll just be a cinematic reveal and that'll be the end of the video it'll be like maybe three or four minutes long at most but um that's kind of my like like roadmap right now for how i'm looking at things there's no guarantee that it'll stay that way um i'm unsure of how exactly i want to go about the reveal video um i can guarantee that the install video will uh, at least to my current plans with michael is I'll be putting a time lapse of it in my channel and Michael will be doing the whole shebang and detail on his channel. So uh, if you guys uh, are not subscribed to Michael's channel, go ahead and do that um, because it'll help you keep in the loop with what's going on here. Um, besides that, um, I really don't know what else to say about it 
Other than I'm really excited, and then it's also going to open the door for other projects, such as when I do the interior overhaul here soon. Uh, a lot of what's going to happen with the interior is going to be based around the wrap. So the coloring, the color of the interior is going to be wrap based. So the color of the wrap will be what goes in the interior. Like my new, when I get my seats redone, the center inserts are going to be the same color as the exterior. At least as close as I can get to the color of the exterior. The seat belts will be matched to it as well, um, as close as I can get anyway. So just in general, the truck's going to be kind of uh, a color themed vehicle. Um, that actually sucks with this guy because um, it is not blue. Um, so this will be. You know completely out of date in terms of like the actual color of the truck so i'm not sure if i'm going to replace that or not and get a new one now that's kind of the roadmap for that but in terms of other mods will it be coming after that's the hard part there's a hellcat um pretty much there's probably not gonna be too many performance mods left to do other than uh getting the intake replaced because i really don't like this intake i make tons of videos on why that intake sucks um, but I do finally want to actually pull the trigger and get it replaced. We're going to custom build something, me and Michael are. So uh, that's going to be something we're going to work on. And eventually I'm thinking about getting this thing dyno tuned to kind of uh, make sure that there's no tuning issues, that everything is good to go. Um, pretty much help diagnose any sort of other issues with the truck. Um, as I do theorize, I'm starting to have some fuel system problems. Um, so I'd like to get it looked at, at least in that regard. Um, the truck will be going in the shop in about a month or so, once again, to get a couple other things repaired as well. But uh, I'm taking it to the shop in about a month to get the timing tensioners on the outside of the motor, the exterior ones, replaced. The ones that are on top of the motor behind the thermostat housing and the other that's on the other side of the motor near the back side of the engine. Um, I'm planning on taking it in and get those replaced. I know it's a really simple job. I just don't want to deal with it. I'm like so just not really about it when it comes to that kind of stuff. That thermostat housing has come up several times now and I really don't want to have to take it out again. So. Um, I'm not gonna take it out again. I'm gonna make someone else take it out again. <laughs> um, so I will not be taking that back out. Someone else will be doing that. And uh, the crank pulley needs to be replaced as well, I believe. Oof, that bump. Um, and once that is done, it'll be golden. Um, I'll be back to having this thing back at full potential and uh, getting, oh, that bump is so bad out here. Roads out here are not great. Um, where I'm currently driving out at, I'm actually like, like 30 minutes from home right now um the roads out here kind of suck not even gonna lie that's kind of the road map to the whole wrap situation getting things ready and uh, eventually like i said it'll be a couple weeks but i'm hoping that we can actually get everything fired up get things working very soon um that's kind of the road map to how things are gonna go um I, i'm pretty sure a lot of people already could have suspected exactly how the roadmap was going to play out that you know we were going to do body work and all that stuff first um but the timeline for the videos will be pretty much one right after the other once the process is done um i'll have probably the reveal video go up first and then the other videos like the uh like the progress of it um outside of body work that might be one video that doesn't get done before um on the debadging and body work sides of things but outside of that um It'll be, you know, quick little uh, um, reveal video and then all the other mods and stuff, like the actual wrap itself will be after that. And that'll be a time lapse, like I said. And the full video of the whole in detail install will be on Michael's channel. So if you guys want to see that, you guys can go over there. But I think uh, that's going to do it for me here. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more content coming soon on the channel on my football on sport track that is about to undergo a complete cosmetic change. And then from there, we're going to do a little bit more, uh, a little bit baby performance stuff, and then probably be nearly calling it a build. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Have a good day, everyone. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys in the next video.